Good morning, folks. We've got several interesting articles today in planetary science and climate forcing. We've also got the sun with increasing activity and more potential on the horizon. Apart from the dark coronal hole in the center, you should be noticing increased activity at the limb incoming on the north. Clearly, a large and active region approaches and will be fully visible this weekend. We're also seeing increased activity at the active region sunspots surrounded by the coronal hole. Eruptions there today would be earth-directed, so no shortage of things to watch. Here are the umbral fields and their action amidst the eruptive activity coming over the limb now, including one small M-class solar flare. Back at Earth, the phi angle flip in the solar wind combined with a minor plasma enhancement overnight, leading to slightly unstable conditions in the geomagnetic field this morning, but nothing major. The coronal hole will amplify those conditions Sunday or Monday. Moving on to Juno at Jupiter's moon Europa, the closest flyby in years is showing enough detail to pick out cracks in the ice and the shadows cast by significant surface features all in preparation for Clipper to arrive in the coming years and see how habitable the icy moon really is. Up next, we're going to Mars where surface undulations over the South Pole mirror surface undulations above subglacial lakes here on Earth, adding to the evidence that it is indeed water below. With the recent story about many more ancient lakes on Mars than scientists previously believed still firmly in mind. Top science this morning is one of the best master's thesis I've seen in a while. I'm also partial to the author's first name, showing definitive decadal and centennial forcing of the temperatures by solar activity and volcanic upticks during sunspot minimum. It's a pattern we see revealed pretty much any time that level of detail is approached for any given location on Earth. Bright future ahead of this one. As we mentioned yesterday, our October 14th event is sold out, leaving just the 13th in Scottsdale. We'll be at the Sound Sanctuary for a networking and meet and greet event, and it should be a fun time as all observer meetups are. Tickets at the link below the video, and also down there is the link to our Shopify store, where this is the last chance to get 20% off everything. We greatly appreciate your support. Eyes on the sun for eruptive activity. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.